What's up guys and welcome to the Garage All Encounter in the Mogushan Vault. This is the third raid encounter on normal mode. Um, as always I've got the ability scrolling above but we need to get right into it because there's a six minute enrage on this fight and it does not stop for anybody. Uh, how we beat this boss is we took two tanks, we took two healers and we took the rest DPS. It doesn't really matter if it's ranged or melee. Um, it's really up to you. We only had one melee in this fight. Um, it might have been beneficial to have another one. Who knows? Here's what you need to do, guys. Okay, is this a two-phase fight? The first phase is you're up top and you're going to get this thing called Voodoo Dolls. It's going to hit the main tank and then two random targets. And by random, I mean completely RNG random. What happens is every uh, percentage that the damage, uh, every damage that the tank takes, the raid members that have the Voodoo Dolls take 70% of that damage. So as a tank, you're cycling your cooldowns during this phase, during the time that you're taking the boss, because the less damage that you take, the less damage those other two people take. And let me explain to you, it hits like a truck. So as a healer, you are literally almost spamming um, big heals on these Voodoo Dolls targets just to keep them up, because if they get hit twice in a row without receiving a heal, it's not going to be good. Um, you're probably going to win, because it's it's impossible to play catch up with those with all three of those guys in those three GCDs by the time he attacks next. So keep that in mind that your blanket healing, um, your raid can stay stacked for healers, um, and that does make it a lot easier. There's nothing that says you can't stack up top. The only time you need to move is if you're going down into the spirit realm. That's the second phase of the fight is the spirit realm. Okay, what happens down there is you want to send two DPS and one healer down. What's going to happen is as soon as you heal everybody to full, um, they can leave. Until they've been healed to 100% life, they cannot leave the spirit realm, and you only have 30 seconds down there. If you're there longer than that, you die. Period. End of story. Game over. Wipe and re regroup, because you're not going to make it. You cannot let anybody die during this fight. Um, as a healer, you're going to want to get your DPS up first. The reason you're going to want to do that is because they get a buff, okay? Um, and then after that, then you can go. But once you're up, then you get a buff, and that regens all your mana. If you're DPS, it gives you a ton of stat increase to the point it's a huge damage increase. And it lasts a decent amount of time. Um, so what you're doing is the two DPS that are down in the spirit realm are killing all these adds. You're quick healing them up, and as soon as you can, like let's say there's 10 seconds or 8 seconds left in your 30 second debuff. If they're at full life, they're not going to die. Go ahead and pop back out, get your mana regen going, and help that other healer. Because if there's only two healers, that means one guy's healing 7 guys, and the other guy's healing 2. And the guys who are downstairs, the two guys aren't taking damage. Um, at least not significant damage compared to the one up top. So it's very, very strenuous to have just your one healer up there. So as soon as you can get back out and help and get your regen going, do it. The thing that you need to understand is that with the extreme RNG on this fight, there might be times where the same healer has to go down continuously. Um, I know that in our kill attempt, I think uh, Chaos had to go down about four or five times in a row before I could get down again, and I didn't get down till the very end. Thank God I actually got down because the attempt before, I think it was eight or nine times. Um, it's literally that many times before I got to go down, so it's hugely RNG based. Just keep that in mind. Um, that you cannot have voodoo dolls and go down into the spirit realm. You cannot do it. So you have to send three people down that do not have them. Whether you're sending the same person twice, that's okay as long as you're trying to cycle as best you can. Um, it, it, it's not going to make or break you, but you need to make sure that you're cycling as best you can so that the guys down um, are coming back up and that you're cycling through so that everybody's getting that damage increase as they go because it does not stack. Um, so the more people that you have with that, the more damage that they're doing. Uh, in other words, it's GG at that point. Um, that's really your goal, is to try to have a kind of a rotation, and then if it gets messed up, you just sub in a quick person here or there. Hopefully it doesn't sub in the whole group. You know, that's just terrible RNG, but for the most part, um, as a healer, what you're doing is that while you're up top, you're keeping the tanks dotted and just any damage reduction onto the tanks that you can give as a healer, put it on them. The reason that you're doing that is because any damage reduction that the tank receives also helps you in healing those voodoo targets. So like for me, I'm cycling Iron Bark whenever that DK tank um, in our group had aggro, I'm cycling Iron Bark on them almost every time. And the reason being is because it hurts like a truck. If I get Voodoo Dolls, I'm using Bark Skin on myself. I had Symbiosis on the DK, so I had IBF. So I was using that on myself. Just anything you can do to take less damage because you're literally going to be spam healing otherwise and you can't afford to do it, um, especially if you don't get chosen to go back down. You need to be 
you know what I mean? Like as a healer, we're, we're keeping everybody alive. If that means we go oom in 45 seconds, that means we go oom in 45 seconds. It doesn't matter. Um, the DPS need to do nothing but focus. And so what you're doing as a healer is you're making sure that you're just keeping everybody as healed as you can and getting down there as many times as you can while keeping your rotation up, while keeping heals up. Uh, the last part that you have to know is at 20%, he doesn't summon any more spirit totems, so no one else can go down underneath. So at that point, you're popping hero, you're burning the boss as quick as you can. Um, and use it at your discretion, guys. I know that in our group, we ended up going about 25%, so he could still summon totems, but we just said, screw it, pop hero, let's blow him up. Um, and at that point, you know, if you've got hero, after you're heroing, you're cycling, your raid cooldowns, you're cycling, any personal cooldowns, anything you can do for damage reduction during that last couple seconds of the burn phase is key. Uh, but I hope you guys like the guide. We'll see you in the next one. Like and subscribe. Peace.